Hey, my name is Nigel. Yes, Nigel. And what's your name? Johnny. Johnny. Nice meeting you, Johnny. So, a uh, big question for you. Uh, what are your thoughts on the afterlife? I believe for a consciousness, like we're a spark of energy, like your physical form right now, that's okay. just your your vessel where right? you experience this this world. And when you die, that's that, that 3% that they can't find. That's who okay. you really are. Like, like everything in your body, every cell is replaced every seven years. Like, okay. So as you're talking now, you're breathing a bit of your elbow out, you're breathing in a bit of this wall, a bit of something from the ether. Okay. Constantly exchanging. So you believe in energy? Yeah, but I also believe and in the consciousness. Like, there's got to be more than just... Okay, what is that more? Death. What? what? There's, there's got to be more than just living and dying. Yeah. Because when you ask yourself that question, it doesn't feel like it just ends. Okay. You know what I mean? So I believe we're a spiritual entity of some sort. All right. Okay. Okay. And uh, with this... Uh, line of thought where did you get that where did you learn that well, i was born as a jehovah's witness for, for about 11 years okay i was forced to read the bible as a kid so i've always had it in me i was questioning wanting to know where we came from where we come from so i spent a lot of years reading books studying like different bibles things like that mm -hmm. you come to the assumption that all the bibles are the same story apart okay. from the muslims and the jews they're the only two bibles mm. that don't go off the story of how the stars pass over the pyramids every other religion is just that story nothing actually happened in that book Okay. It's just how the stars are passing over the pyramid. Aha, uh -huh. okay. So for you, you grew up in a Jehovah's Witness yeah. family. Yeah. So going to church by force, yeah. you read the Bible, this yeah. and that, this and that. Okay. And uh, in terms of uh, spiritual experiences, have you had, ever had any spiritual experience? Uh, even in your time when you were in church or you just um, remember? Yeah, I do feel like there's certain times in my life where I should have died and I didn't die. Or well, I should have gone to prison, I didn't go to prison. I've been given many chances. And yeah. And I feel okay. like... So, who was giving you the chance? Is it the energy or do you believe that there must be God? Who knows? Guardian angel? Who knows, man? I who don't knows? know. Nobody knows. It's all out here guessing. Well, bro. if you say nobody knows when you don't know me, maybe you might be wrong. Well, I might know. Yeah, but everyone was guessing out <laughs> here. Like if you were born in a certain religion, uh -huh. you would be uh, devout to that religion. It's because of your parents. Uh -huh. Whereas if you were born in a different family, a different mm. religion, you'd be devout to that religion. Mm. So everyone's personal experience in this it's world different. is an accumulation of everything they've gone through before. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, okay, uh, you came good there. Uh, most of us, we follow what we have been born in. Yeah. You know, if you've been born in a Muslim family, chances are you become... A Muslim, yeah, yeah. if you have been going to offer sweetness, chances are you follow in the footpaths. But now, here's the good thing all of us have been given a free will. Yeah, I believe that there is God. Yeah, uh, I, I speak from a Christian yeah, point I of there view. There is a God, yeah. I just believe in one God, and I can't choose one God. It's uh, like a roulette wheel. You're like, Oh, I'm picking number 11. Come on, wait till you die. It was a number 11, right? Oh, I was wrong. It was number 23, you know. Damn, do you know what I mean? Oh, okay, that's how I see religion. That's how you see religion. Okay, now let me uh, speak from a Christian point of view. Okay. Uh, one can be presented religion yeah. but not what God had in mind that is a personal relationship yeah. so in a religion you are brought up to believe certain rules yeah. to observe certain rituals to do certain things so that you tick the boxes yeah. but you don't have a personal relationship with the God who you serve yeah. so Christianity is a personal relationship with Jesus. Yeah. The teachings of Jesus. But well, that says that we've only been around 2,000 years, and that's not true. Well, if you say only 2,000 years, you need to look back because you will see that from the time men were created, as soon as men fell, God did a plan and he started the redemption process. Yeah. So you hear about Adam and Eve. Yeah, how good is so uh, pretty much the same as Jehovah's Witness Bible. But when I say Yahweh instead of God and that. Yeah, uh, but, but that one is, uh, to me, is a religion. That one is people who have gone in the era. Like a cult. Yeah. It, it, not, it's not like, it's yeah. a cult. Yeah, it's yeah. not like, it's a, <laughs> it's yeah, a cult. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You see, so that one is not Christianity. No, no. Yeah. You know, th th that is why, you know, there are places where you go depressed, you come out more depressed. Yeah. You go there and, because anything that separates people is a cult. If yeah. you see uh, in something that you follow, you believe in, yeah. but it separates you from other people, yeah. it doesn't give you the free choice to choose what you want. You don't need to question certain things. Yeah. You ask questions, they say, go to the website. Yeah. If you can't explain what you are believing in, it's yeah. surely it's madness. Yeah, 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 you, you understand? Yeah, yeah. But if you read your, a, a Bible, not the Jehovah's Witness books, yeah. you're going to see that there is a man who God started showing from the time Adam and Eve 
a sin where he says the serpent shall be bruised yeah yeah when he spoke to 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 eve saying you're going to give birth yeah and obviously god said the redemption process sorry <laughs> the bee <laughs> oh is it is it the drink <laughs> oh man okay it's good okay so to continue i i, I want to just say look before god the bible says we are all people we have sinned yeah. and he started showing from adam and eve when adam sinned god killed an animal yeah. and it was pointing to a sacrifice which was going to come in the future okay. why because on this earth we are here for a short season all of us god gives us a time and a chance so that we can fulfill his assignment yeah. so you can live be, be, be busy in the wrong thing but not in the will of god yeah. if you had come into a personal relationship with god you will know your purpose why you are alive this thing about energy and all these religions that are coming people yes we seek to know we desire to know but it's easy to believe in the lie yeah so do a study on this person jesus did he uh, live on earth was he born the same the, the way the prophet said you know all the all of them pro, 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 prophesying a savior is coming a savior is coming was he born did he live the way they said he will live did he die did he rose from the dead if you do a study of him he can be trusted so if you put your trust in jesus and live on his teachings which is one commandment mm. love because love fulfills every other commandment if you live in love you want to love your neighbor like you love yourself you love god with all your heart not because you are afraid of him but because of what he has done he died for your sins if you live in love there's joy peace patience kindness self-control humility joy there's no pride in love you know so love is the fulfillment of the law that's what jesus came to do he came to do that to restore us giving us back the authority we had on earth what we lost through adam Jesus came to restore that so that we can begin to move with the assignment of heaven, the agenda of heaven. Yeah. There are two kingdoms, light and darkness. So the devil will put prominent people, people who are influential to make new religions. If you are not careful, you follow one of them. But uh, I'll show you one verse. Is it okay? So that, Because I don't know how many minutes you have. I'll show you one verse. Where's my phone? Okay. Uh, in the town center people are in a rush but i, I try to okay so let me go to romans i'm sure you are familiar with this scripture if you that is if you were also I remember all of it. <laughs> okay I remember all right so romans chapter 10 reading from verse number 13 three verses you want to read out whoever shall call upon the name of the lord shall be saved speaking of jesus whoever shall call upon the name of the lord shall be saved uh-huh uh, how then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? Speaking of Jesus. Uh -huh. And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? Uh -huh. And how shall they hear without a preacher? Uh -huh. And how shall they preach except they be sent? Mm. As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring that child into good things. So here, God today chose you to hear the good news. Today I'm your preacher. So that I'll just tell you that you might have been given religion but it's not about religion religions they cause wars they manipulate people they take advantage they cause all the chaos that we have god never had a religion in mind but a personal relationship yeah. but it was messed up but when one comes to see the mercy of god he give us he gave us jesus christ if you receive jesus christ as your personal lord and savior repent of your sins and to repent is you change the way you think lord forgive me lord be my lord and savior yeah. your lord the one who tells you what to do when to do your savior he saves you from eternal damnation so i know in uh, jehovah's witness they also say that the hell is there's no hell once you die and you go in the ground the hell is real it's the same principles apart from they get to live forever and everyone else dies and maybe uh, yeah i mean they, they've got their own thing but yeah. uh, in short I, I can talk until tomorrow. I would love to hear if you have any, any question for me. So that uh, maybe I can enlighten you on something. Because my prayer is so that you become a follower of Jesus. Not in religion, yeah. 
yeah. I'm not inviting you to say, hey, you need to do this, but a personal relationship with Jesus. Yeah. So, uh, any questions? No, no, I can think of. You I'm might not meet another Christian, Christian like me. Nah, um, I don't know. As I say, I've... I don't, you never believe, expected. I don't believe that God can make a man imperfect and punish him for being imperfect. I don't believe that. Yeah, so here's the thing. And all, 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 all religion is based around common law. Christianity came out at the same time common law did. Well, so, well, uh, can you come again with that? So all, all, all religion is based around common law. Okay, so what, what common laws, law? you don't burn in hell. No. That, all the same. So, so religion, you say. Yeah. Christianity is different. Christianity is very different. Christianity is one of the earliest religions there is. Yeah, so the difference between... As in, coming forward to our time now, it's early. But, but, but it's way older one. Uh, like uh, the astrology uh, signs, that's the oldest ever known. Uh, uh, I can see some signs, yeah? yeah. Now, if you look at Hinduism yeah. and, uh, and uh, Buddhism, yes, it might have come 500 years before Jesus. Yeah. But here's the thing. If you go to history, you will see that God had already started the redemption process with Israel. Yeah. But he was waiting for the fullness of time so that Jesus would then come on earth to die for the sins of the people. Yeah. So all the religions, yes, they came, but it is men making their own thing. If you look at any religion right now, let's take for example Islam. Yeah. Mahomet came 600 years after Jesus. Islam came 600 years after Jesus. Ma that bike. So I'm saying Muhammad, the one who started Islam, yeah. he came 600 years yeah. after Jesus. Okay. Now, if you read the Quran, I don't know if you've ever read the Quran. Okay, I have. I, I even walk with one because I meet Muslims yeah, as well. Road, yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll be meeting my <laughs> friends soon. You know. Yeah. So here's the thing that I found in the Quran: there are too many v scripture verses which are in favor of the Prophet. Yeah. The, the Prophet. prophet Muhammad is one. Yeah, they had many wives. Not yeah. only that, some of them married a, a, a six-year-old. Yeah. So, okay, well, well I, I'm saying, really? yeah, I, 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 well, we can Google. Wow, that's in the yeah. Bible. Right? The second that's wife, Aisha, born, uh, she was married at six. Now, for me, I'm saying this because I don't take a man of God or a prophet of God who do some those yeah, things. Yeah, I believe in that either, bro. Do you understand? Now, yeah. not only that, he had more than 12, 12 wives, yeah. including slave women. And uh, there are other verses which are in the Quran, which other people like Uma, that is if you go to read the Quran, yeah. or you can just go on YouTube and yeah. just type what Islam uh, beliefs are, yeah. you will find that, because I don't say what is not written. The reason I find it weird is because if you look at the world, obviously Satan is real, because you only have to look at who's running the world. They're following Satan, bro. So, 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 I mean, as... I know God's real, so, but so, I can't conform to one of them. I can't so, do it. so here's the thing, like you were presented your religion yeah. at an early age. Yeah. Today, I'm also coming to present something to you yeah. because you have a free will. Yeah. Make your decision when you're still alive. Yeah. Don't die before you make a decision. No, I believe in I believe in a God. And if I get if I get murdered, then but what it, can I say? Anyway? But even demons. Be, like he gave me too many to choose from. How was I supposed to know which one? But even demons believe in. Demons believe in. Uh, they believe that there is God, and they tremble because they don't have a relationship with Him. So you are better than a demon. Don't yeah. just believe. Yeah. Do a study on this person, Jesus. Yeah. Is he a man who came to die for our sins? Mm. And if you can see his account to be true, I say like I have done, you have a free will, but I chose to put my trust in him. Yeah. If you see him to be reliable, to be truthful, put your trust in him. His commandment, one, love. Because when you live in love, you stand for what is true. You stand for the truth. Truth cannot be exchanged, cannot be changed. He's not saying come to say, observe these things, these how many days you keep, you come to church and this and that. He's not saying all that. Yeah. He's saying put your trust in my completed work of the cross, I died for your sins. Yeah. If you read the Gospels, you see that he came for this purpose, to die for the sins of the world. Now, don't die without your sins, if you've been dealt with. There's a lot of sins, bro. There's a lot of sins, bro. I tell you what, all of us, because it's not what we have done. That makes you a sinner. Yeah. Not only that, Adam, because Adam sinned, we all inherited the sinful nature because okay. sin is passed through the bloodline. Yeah. That is why Jesus, when he came to die for the sins of the people, he came through a virgin birth. Why? So that his blood will come pure. Yeah. He did not come from Adam. I'm going to have to go, you know. Look, one, 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 angel. <laughs> so, uh, no questions for me. No, nah, man, but I appreciate your talk.
Yeah. And I hope you are okay, okay, okay. Can I just uh, uh, pray for you? Pray for me? Yeah. So, Father, I pray that you give my brother understanding when he starts to read his Bible. Give him understanding, Lord. And I use him for your glory. Use him mightily in our time. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let truth be known in his heart. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So, the Lord do you good, man. Arise and shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. And as you go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely we have received, freely we give. Arise and shine. For your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. And as you go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely we have received, freely we give. It's time to rise up and be counted. It's time to destroy the works of the devil. Time to transform the nations. There is a cry. Whom shall I send? Who will go for us? Let's all say, send us, Lord. Send us, Lord. Send us.